also doing just audio. So it's a little bit lighter of a file. Yeah. Oh, I'm I wasn't ready. You know, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me fix my hair. Sure. Kim Swank was fixing her teeth. If we give him blooper stuff, he'll use it. Like Kim was like, <laughs> Do I have anything on my teeth? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good. Well, I'm just hoping this whole thing is going to be a blooper. <laughs> it's kind of what we are. That's, maybe that's another art show we could do is like this whole thing is a blooper. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like it. Yeah. So I, uh, here I am again, Mike from Shockbox, this time live and direct from where the magic happens at Preston Smith's uh, house, art studio, audio lab, podcast uh, central. Yep. We do everything, dude extravaganza yeah oh yeah i'm doing and now i'm now I'm working on my youtube channel <laughs> so I, I i basically don't sleep anymore man what is that guy from fast times at ridgemont high whatever happens my toes are still tapping <laughs> <laughs> fast oh you're taking it back man yeah you pull it fast up times. Lot machines and one of them's bound to hit yeah that's true yeah, yeah. well i'm i'm hoping that uh not not that one will hit but they all kind of feed each other. That's the thing, you know, you grow, like I grew my Instagram, my Instagram is doing well, that's kind of feeding into the podcast, the podcast hopefully is gonna feed into YouTube and, you know, hopefully they'll all hit at the same time. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it's one of those things that I just, I like doing. Sure. It's fun. And, and, and the thing that's cool about the YouTube and the podcast is like, I'm, I'm ultra serious with my art, right? But this kind of gives me a chance to, to be a little goofy too. When is it that you've been ultra serious? I don't know if I've ever seen that. Well, in my art. Well, you, okay, so you never knew me. <laughs> <laughs> Your art is good and playful and serious. And I'll tell you one thing, the, the place where I see you being super serious and, and, and best ever is, uh -huh. is how you handle the business of being an artist. You know, you sell a piece, you ship the piece. Like I remember when you had your oh, yeah. solo show at Shockbox, you sold a piece and you were like, I'm coming to get it. I'm getting it now. From Look, Tarzan, I'm, like, I'm already, I, I anticipated this. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah I mean, but the, well, the thing, I guess going back a little bit. Yes. I'm always playful and fun. Even my art now, it, nowadays is, but like the first, you didn't know me the first 10, 12 years I was down here. My work was like super personal, dark, figurative. It was like every other painting was a self-portrait. I used to have people who just go, man, I love your art, but I don't want to hang it in my house. You know, <laughs> I was right. going through, I was going through a lot of kind of like personal existential demons at the time. And you know what? I, I just kind of had this, like, I don't know, I was butting heads with my inner self. And I was, I just decided that this is not me really. I'm not, I'm not this ultra serious person all the time. Like I used to be, like I was class clown in high school, you know? I mean, uh -huh. I, I just decided to kind of stop taking myself so seriously and just kind of have some fun. Right. So that's what I've been doing. Right. That comes, you, you're also really good at like showing off your entire studio and body of work during this interview. You're, <laughs> you're, you're doing the best job of anybody in the interview. Yeah. That, no, actually, that was not planned. But thank you. <laughs> you guys having an earthquake in Tarzana today? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I'm just I'm just playing with my swivel chair. Actually, it's probably not very um, it's probably not very flattering. I get this huge industrial size roll of like uh, like this foam good. roll. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Just to give you a little scale here. No, yeah. it's awesome. But this is like my this is like my painting studio and uh, shipping area. I've got all my stuff kind of wedged in here but uh, i love it i love it I, I i'm used to working in cramped quarters right what the viewers can't see because i've seen your studio in person is that it's also totally clean like you haven't ruined the carpet in that room <laughs> it's a fact that, that's true that's another thing i learned because i i've always had to uh i mean i keep upgrading you know as the years pass but like i started off doing my work in a, a studio that I was living in, like not not a New York style studio. I'm talking like 400 square feet. I got my living room, bedroom, and painting studio. All day. I had to build up and break down my painting studio every time I painted. Right. So I got used to being clean, you know, uh, and and it's carried it's carried on over to me uh, to, to to my new place. So. So you're I'm I'm going to have a non sequitur here. Um, sure. They, uh, you know, Hermosa Beach is 
historically a pretty localized place and we, and we like to take care of our own. And yeah. one of the goals when Laura and I started with Shockbox was we obviously wanted to do that, but we also wanted to reach out and bring, bring people in, bring artists in, bring art patrons in, um, just get the attention of a larger art scene, which I think yeah. that you've been successful in doing and that, and you have been a big part of that. So as, as, as what somebody might call an outsider to Hermosa beach and to Cypress right. Avenue, like what's your take on just the, the scene down here? You're not local, bro. You know, locals only, man. <laughs> no, it's funny how LA is kind of split up like that because I mean, it's such a big city, but it, it is, it is funny how you'd think everybody from LA would just be like LA, but no, it's all localized. You're from Silver Lake or you're from Manhattan beach or Hermosa beach. Yeah. But for me personally, when I came down to Hermosa beach, I was like, it felt like home. Like it felt very, I mean, part of that was you guys, right. And, sure. and the gallery, you guys kind of fostered that kind of community uh, feel, but and everybody was very accepting. But ever since I've been down there, the crowds have been great. They've been engaging. I feel like I've gotten to know um, a lot of the regulars, a lot of the, the people who come in uh, and support Shockbox. And I almost feel like your friends are my friends now. They are. Yeah. I, I don't know if that, I don't know if that's the same for people who are not artists and don't have a connection with Shockbox, but I, I kind of have a feeling it, it, it is. It seems like people are pretty cool down there. Yeah. That's the, you know, Hermosa, as you say that Hermosa does have like most beach communities or communities, like, you know, you kind of claim it and there, there's, it, you're proud to be a local of that, but yeah. it's, it's a really inclusive place, you know? I don't know if you know this, but uh, Hermosa is where West Coast jazz, like really, yeah. off, you know, the, that's the, right. The lighthouse and, 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 and it's been a place where people always gather. And I think that the citizens of Hermosa Beach, especially like the lifelong natives, you know, or two or three generation back natives. Yeah. <laughs> I think Hermosa has a, has this vibe of being like, the little brother to a few other communities, you know, so it's scappy and it's always right, right. for its piece of the pie. Um, well, and the punk yeah, scene very, too, right? I say again? The punk scene as well, right? Yeah. So really, you got... That's something uh, I have a connection with. Yeah, you have West Coast jazz and then you have the punk scene that has very original and deep roots with Hermosa Beach and the South Bay and the surfboard industry as well, right? Yeah. It really, really was born on Cyprus um, and the, the community's never really like stamped it as original home of this or that or the other thing, you know? That's true. It's funny. I, I keep having this uh, scene from Point Break playing in my mind right now because I've never been a Valley person until now. Like I've lived 16, 17 years in uh, West LA and I just have, the, speaking of locals only, I just have that scene of where he, where uh, Keanu Reeves goes and runs over that other guy who's surfing and he comes and he like, he uh, takes his knife out, cuts the cord. He's like, punches sure. him. Go back to the valley, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I feel, I feel like that more than ever now. Yeah. No, but yeah. I want to, what I want to do is I want to be that guy, the old guy who starts surfing. So you're going to have to get me out there one of these days. <laughs> we'll do you're that. like, nah. well, The entirety of Hermosa Beach is watching. If anybody wants to take Preston Smith surfing. They're all just like, shutting off the video right now go back to the valley go back to the valley bro <laughs> we're done here so uh well, um, yeah go ahead sorry no we're done oh we're done that was the end that's it you want to end on on my point break reference huh it's over now <laughs> okay <laughs> actually i'm just trying to give russ fun <laughs> things to drop in here and there. yeah fun things to put in that's cool <laughs> yeah so by the way I, I don't have any other questions because these are all going to be about five minutes or so but do you oh, want nice. to add anything? Where do people find you? What's up with all that? Uh, uh, people can find me. I'm, I'm PMS Artwork. Those are my initials. Um, you can find me PMS Artwork anywhere on, uh, on social media. Uh, YouTube, uh, I'm, I'm working on. But you can also find my podcast at the Living Artist Podcast. You can listen to the Mike Collins uh, episode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I appreciate uh, that you keep it's growing, it. man. Huh? I appreciate that you keep promoting the episode. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? I, I felt like I kind of owed you because you were the first person to come on. And, uh, you know, risk. sometimes you, you can get kind of lost in the shuffle, but 
I kept promoting this and, you know, putting it out there. And, and I think you're the second most listened to podcast. Uh, who's number one? I am. Okay, good. It's, it's like my, it's my, uh, my favorite online art marketplaces. That's the so one that's number one? That's number one. Yeah. Cause people, people like that. People like something that's kind of a, a little bit more self-help oriented, you know, but you're, you're number two. And then with this new girl, I don't know if you've listened to her yet, Ava, Ava Wolf. She's a, she's a seascape painter. She's got a huge following and her thing is blowing up fast. So she's going to overtake you probably in a week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As long as it's not Sarah or Kim or, or. Oh no. Yeah. No. yeah. Definitely. Leah Perino though. She's up there. Yeah. She's got, she's got some, uh, she's got a strong following, I guess. Well, I guess if you own a magazine, you can. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> you can just shun people. You, you have to listen to my, my interview or, or else. Yeah. Well, um, so oh, by the way, um, are you still, are you still rolling? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna turn I wanna, one. Uh, okay. Buzzer.